So before, you know, I have this, I used to put that end piece right by the pinky, cover it up, and breathe through the mouth to get that thing going. Not anymore. Now it's a whole new game changer. Guys, so I just created this DIY uh, water changer right here. I just bought this from Menards. So I just want to show you guys how it works. Uh, hopefully it works. I just got it. So it's 22 bucks. Let's see if it works. So just got to put water right here. Bring some water. First off, you just got to make sure this is perpendicular. That way the water don't escape yet. So I'm going to put water right now. So this water changer, um, I would not have to suck air out, and that's that's gonna be the main thing that I don't want to do anymore. So I'm just gonna pour water in. So from here, I'm just gonna close it, make sure it's air tight, and I'm just gonna check right here. Make sure the water comes out. Bam. And it looks like it works. We can come back here. Show you guys. It's coming out back here. And boom, works like magic. All right, folks. So let's go over how much everything costs. Check it out. The total was 22. But then I'm gonna minus around three, four dollars for uh, some chips and some hot sticks that I bought. So it'll be around like 18 bucks. Right. Let me put it closer so you guys can see. Three fourths PVC. So this thing right here is a uh, three fourths PVC, bought like an adapter three way, and then one elbow, and then this part I just cut off. Uh, 12 inches this one was around 19 inches so you guys uh, make sure you guys have this piece a little bit longer when you do uh, end up building this system because you need water more water in here to get more gravitational pull in order for the system to work that will fall down it'll fall down once you turn this around so down here uh, the three fourths PVC again and this adapter this adapter has like a twisty turny thingy which goes into this great thing that could enter into this uh, pipe so it took me um, like around 30 minutes at Menards in order to figure everything out because I, f I found out that there wasn't a uh, a rubber piece that would be able to fit a one inch and I didn't see any gray pieces that have one inch so that's why I had to stick with this one which was a little bit uh, smaller but uh, you know whatever works uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to cut the PVC pipes because this end right here is 12 inches but for those things over there I'm gonna need something around 8 inches or 7 inches so I'm gonna demonstrate with this so I can show you guys how to use this. You just open it like this. This is also bought from a hardware store. My hardware store is Home Depot. So I'm measuring it right here, eight inches. So there you go. So just keep closing once, close by sections. So there you go, now I'm just gonna go by section. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom, see that? So it's nice and clean. So yeah, there you go. So now if I wanna change this part and so that I could do water change on this side, now I can, that way it won't go too long down here and drain all the water. 
the cool thing about this system is that uh, if you forget to take this off, uh, it's gonna stop right where you measured it. So if you forget to take this thing off, the water's gonna water level is gonna stop right here. So you don't have to worry about draining everything out of the tank. All right, you guys. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That way you guys stay updated on my fishing journey.